Hi, this is a demonstration of tab based library book availability and location finder system. So this system automates the entire process of library book availability checking and the location finding. So if uh, a particular book is issued to a particular user, this system shows that the book is not available right from home on the Android app. And if that book is available, where it is placed on which rack on which corner of the library, it shows the map uh, where it is placed so that user can book it. And if a book is not available, it also shows when it will be available for the user to, you know, book. So let's see the system. Here we have option to log in. So we'll enter my ID and the password. So my ID is one double zero one, and the user is so my password. I'll say submit. So this will take me to a page where it says find book. So here you have to. So you have uh, the options of uh, request new book, credits, and exit from the system. So here in find books, you have to enter the name of the book. Uh, so if you don't exactly remember the name, just uh, enter something about the name, and you will get uh, options like A B or the A B C. That's the book name which uh, admin has added. So when you click on find, it, it first uh, shows you the cabinet layout uh, where there are 10 cabinets and if you click on the black ones, it won't do anything. But if you click on blue one, it will show you the shelf uh, of the cabinets and it will highlight the book as blue which uh, one you are finding. So rest all are black and this one is blue. Let's uh, see for the second one. So it's again in the first cabinet and this one is in the last row. Both. So you can uh, easily find your books and it's not a hassle for you to go through all the stuff to find a particular book. If you don't find a book, uh, you can just uh, go to the request new book module. Uh, so you can enter the book name and its author name and a new request will be sent to the admin saying that these students uh, require the book name uh, by this author and in the credits section uh, it would be your name, your faculty name or something which you would like to add. So next we have is an admin module where admin can log in into the system. Uh, using its own ID and the password. So we'll enter the ID and the password. And you can see that uh, there are options for admin to add book. So you have to enter the details and select the position of that particular book. And this way the book would be added into the system and it would be easier to find. Next uh, we have is add student module where a librarian or the admin can add the student into the system. So next is issue book. So you have to enter the book name or its title or initials of that particular book. And you can just search that and select the perfect book. And you can just uh, enter the student ID to assign that uh, book to him and click on submit. So next is the written book. So we'll just enter the student name and you can see that uh, it shows the book details and if you click on return uh, the book has been returned uh, by the particular student next is uh, view books uh, here you can see the details of the books uh, and its uh, flag or the status uh, so if you can see that the status is no that means uh, the book has been issued uh, to a particular student and it is not available in the library so that if uh, a user or the student search for it it's uh, not shown so next is uh, the request module uh, so here is the request which we recently added 
and uh, if uh, admin has fulfilled the requirement you can just click on delete and that particular request will be deleted from the system so this is how the admin model for the tab based library system works thank you